How's it guys, Manash here and today we have an Abyss Old Man Logan solo with Mr. Negative. So this is one of the very few fights in Abyss that Mr. Negative actually works well for. Mainly because he has a pretty good petrify off the special 2 which allows him to deal with Old Man Logan's region. Because he's going to be healing for 28,000 a second or 14,000 per tick which is quite a lot if you can't heal block or reverse it or just have an insanely high damage dealing champ. So my strategy for this fight, well first of all is just to mostly use parry heavy to maximize damage per hit. Well not really parry heavy but just heavy attacks in general because the special one is quite easy to punish. In fact both these specials and the heavy attack is quite easy to heavy punish. But at the start of the fight I was intercepting a lot more than parrying and also throwing less heavy attacks because whenever you parry you get two light charges and whenever you throw a heavy attack you gain a fury buff. And whenever you dash back you remove whatever buff is on you and when you do that you gain one light energy. So I was trying to get to two bars of power before I get 10 light energy. Because when you reach 10 that's when they start to expire over 6 seconds. So the general game plan for Mr. Negative is you want to build at least 10 light energy. Then either knock the opponent down or hold the heavy attack and let them attack at you which will trigger his evade. Because while holding the heavy he does have a 100% chance to evade if he has at least one light energy. So just keep in mind this will not work if the opponent completely counters evade. But once you do that he'll convert all the light energy into dark energy. So if you have at least 10 this will last for 16 seconds otherwise it will be indefinite if it's less than 10. Also when he evades he applies the delirious debuff which inverts the opponent's controls and lowers combat power rate by 60%. Then what you want to do ideally is throw your special 2 before the dark energy expires. Because usually only the first hit of the special 2 will apply a petrified debuff. But if you have at least 10 dark energy on you, then the second hit will apply an additional petrify. Which of course makes a pretty big difference to the regen reduction. Cause each petrify only lowers it by 80%. So having 2 will allow you to reverse it by 60%. But then you also have the degeneration debuffs. So the third hit of the special 2 will apply 1 degen. But the fourth and final hit will remove all dark energy and apply a degen debuff for each dark energy. That's why I'll usually have 2 petrifies and 11 degens when I throw a special 2. And of course I'm running max despair as I always do cause that will lower the regen even more per debuff. And if I didn't have max despair then I probably wouldn't have soloed this fight because it was pretty close at the end just had a handful of hits left. If I didn't have despair at all then I probably would have needed to use the Mr. Fantastic pre-fights to get him down in one fight. But even then that might still be tight. Unless I was using a rank 3 cause then I would get a couple more hits. So there are a few different ways to play Mr. Negative depending on the fight but this is essentially how you'd want to use him in most matchups. There's also a few variations to this like if you want to stack more degen debuffs then you can convert less than 10 light energy first. Then you'll have permanent dark energy since it's less than 10. Then you just build more light energy and convert that whenever you want. So if you convert 10 like usual then you'll have 19 dark energy. Which means your special 2 will then apply 20 degen debuffs. I haven't actually tried this myself but it should work quite well if you just want a more potent heal reversal at a certain time. The one tiny piece of criticism I can give Mr. Negative is that the Petrify just doesn't feel like it lasts long enough sometimes. If it just had an extra 3 seconds on the duration, it would be much easier to have full uptime on 2 Petrifies. So I kind of had to maximize damage per hit to solo this fight without any boost or synergy slash pre-fights as a rank 2 6 star. And towards the end I had a very unfortunate evade because he dropped a full combo on me and I lost almost 60% health. And when you get hit you also lose hits uh, in terms of skirmish or warfare charges but fortunately I still managed to finish this fight within my 230 hits and in a little less than 5 minutes. So that's gonna be it for this one, I hope you guys found it interesting and as always thank you for watching, have a wonderful day and I'll see you soon.